How y'all doing? My name is Chris Bob, and I'm a real Billy son. Mm-hmm. Yep. I mean, I cut fire dogs. I love fried frogs. And most of all, Ruth, recently, I stopped eating hogs. Yep. Mm-hmm. Now this video you're about to see, I'm about to show you what to do with a dead bird that run up in your car. Yep. Mm-hmm. Fried off and eaten off of your don't die that don't worry about I can y'all. Mm-hmm. Enjoy now. Mm-hmm. I uh, just uh, hit a pretty big grouse here. Or 
Birds of Prey, which I would call the eagle, of fur-bearing animals, cattle, and wolf. Don't always need to register the possession. Cross depends on the type of wild animal, how uh, you acquired it. Need to register, register for what is called most possession. This allows you to keep the wild animal personal use. What's wildlife and raptors, birds of prey, the script of the fall eagle, peregrine falcon, the shark, 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 Register. Well, it looks like you don't need to. No. Now look at that new beautiful bird, dude. It was about to boost about to boost about to boost about to boost about We finally got something to eat, son. It's been weeks. It's been weeks since we've had some meat. <laughs> you guys are all probably saying, this guy is like some crazy dude. But let me tell you something. This was a gift. Spring water. Go 
fresh fur and fresh fur.
That's just what it is. It all boils down to.
dark. Yum, yum, yums. <laughs> That's all, folks. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and watch all my other videos. Don't forget to buy my organs, my energy ornaments, they really work. Don't forget to buy my books if you got children, you know peoples, buy them, they really work. Don't forget to buy all my things, everybody support me, I need your support. Don't forget that knife in the video is for sale, it's really, really good, really, really good. Bye bye everybody. When you cause nature to accidentally give to you a consumable consequence, tilt your head back, open your mouth, stick your tongue out, and say, ah. Knowledge can't be got before you get it. And beg to learn from what has just got you. Everything happens for a purpose. Don't misinterpret an opportunity as an accident and then waste it. In my opinion, the gross train of thinking that makes one believe any process of thriving ourselves that are different from your own spontaneous momentary life management methods is what is actually gross. And amongst a list of many theories of mind that should be reinformed. Nurture your mind to protect your body and soul naturally. And once you believe in Yahushua and Yahweh as one, you allow the force of nature to take control of your mind, body, and soul. You will know what it is to be naked again. For you will not need to cover your entity, your body, your mind, and your soul with lies and deceit. This facade that causes you to exist in falsehoods and perpetuate darkness. You'll experience anxiety as a natural way of preventing you from doing something harmful to yourself at the moment. Not wanting to take all sorts of extraordinary ways and methods to allow you to simulate everything else, everybody else. You'll experience the true meaning of existing for nature, which is of Yahweh, and not man, which is unnatural and of Satan. You will learn to do things like stop and go back for a bird or animal that has just died by way of a collision with your vehicle ask for its forgiveness give thanks for God's blessing and go home and consume nature's offerings to you without fear or care of public emotional persecution God and his league of spirits and nature are your only public and all that are connected to these frequencies don't fear but only protect you.
<laughs> hey everybody, this is actually me, the voice that I'm used to, and you're used to, but uh, all seriousness, if you ever, ever hit a bird or animal or anything like that and you're driving along the country road, seriously, I mean, if you don't have the stomach for it, just chances are the person behind you. <laughs> will uh, be more than happy. I mean, a quick story. I was with uh, my uh, St. Avery's uh, mother and I, we were all out in Algonquin Park there coming home and uh, I hit a huge, huge uh, pheasant, you know, one of these things, fire tuck, you know, Robin Hood, just, just massive, you know, three feet tall, just huge bird, beautiful. It's too bad I didn't have time to get some pictures of it to throw it in this video. So anyways, I'm not kidding you. Before I can get out of my car, I had two boys up on right up riding up on me on ATVs talking in like kind of like the what I how I was trying to talk. <laughs> Telling me everything from like what am I doing with that bird? You know, is it okay, sir? Don't worry about it. You know, we'll take care of that bird. I mean, they look at me. What am I, a guy like me out in Algonquin Park, going to take this bird home? They had a chance. They were pretty slim. But, you know, I ended up taking them home. But they were trying to tell me about how to separate it, get the wings, and, you know, step on it and pull it back. And it's all kinds of stuff. But um, it's culture. You know, I live out in a small town like Kearney. It's like, you know, I'll tell you there's 800 people, it could be less, could be more, but whatever. But it's culture. I mean, I, I came home one day and I was driving by a friend and he hit a small deer and, and I was just half kidding with the, with, the, with, the, with the guy and said, hey man, you don't want to just drop it off at my house. And I, you know, he was with somebody, I guess he was probably embarrassed, but I came home, my neighbor came behind me to tell me that my stoplight was uh, off and she's like, looks, she starts freaking out and I'm looking, I'm like, there's a deer there. I'm like, oh, <laughs> must be my buddy dropping it off. So, you know, at the end of the day, just, you know, make sure that you call the ministry and a small bird like this, you don't have to. Don't risk your life, okay? Your vehicle is not a weapon, okay? You're not, uh, you know, driving up and down the roads looking for animals to start flooring it. The gravel and the mud and the dirt and the sand, it's like marbles, okay? It's, you, you just, you, there's no traction, especially if you have a big truck, you know, it starts getting speed and then it just fishtails on you. It's just absolutely not worth it. But especially those types of birds, the grouse, they'll literally like run right out on the road. So that's another reason why you just keep your speed down because if you're not expecting it, your normal reaction is to, to break, right? And then that's when you start swerving. And if you're on the country roads, usually they're tree banked or cliff banked or water banked. So you're going to be going into, you're going to be just in a lot of trouble. It's not like there's guardrails, you know, there's bushes and there's cliffs and there's all sorts of things. So my advice is just to hold tight, just just keep driving, you know, don't dry, even drop your speed, just keep driving. You know, you hit the animal, you say a little prayer, you, you, you ask for forgiveness. It's absolutely not your fault. It's just the way nature is running, right? And, and uh, you know, you, you do your best, you know, you're not, obviously not going to be driving around with knives and things, but if you are, you try to remove the guts right there. If chances are, if you've hit a small animal or bird, you probably put a big enough hole in it where you can just pull it out. And uh, if you're around an area like where I live, you're, there's always water. So that's kind of, you know, you just try to do it. You get a bag, you put all of the feathers and things like that in the bag you tie it up or honestly just if there's guts you just you know kind of put them out of the way and before you know it you'll have Mr. Crow or Fox or something coming in it coming in but uh, you know just be safe that's what it's about and you know for all you preppers and Illuminatiists and all of this all, all the stuff I mean it is what it is you know what I mean it has nothing to do with that except for being able to you know look at a positive side of something okay you just killed something and you know you have an opportunity to benefit from it and the spirit in that animal obviously you know if you intentionally went and tried to harm that bird to eat it I probably am a spiritual guy I probably wouldn't eat that bird because that kind of going to perpetuate the way you are, all right? And that's just it. So, 
my organ ornaments, my children's books, my jewelry, my poetry, my prose, you know, what I have to say about Yahushua, Lord and Savior. These are the times, everybody. It's very, very serious. We need all of you. We have one enemy, and his name is Satan, okay? And this is basically what's governing everything right now, controlling all of this stuff. So let's all get together and uh, squash this beast, and, you know, we can straighten our lives out after that, all right? But uh, it's not time, you know? There's a lot of things happening, a lot of people in a lot of ways, and, and it's very hard to put the big picture together. Everybody's all just focused on their own little problem, there's some really, really bad stuff happening in the world. You know, there's senior citizens that paid 70, 60 years into the insurance, you know, insurance and, and pensions, and they're not getting it. You know, they're going away and getting injured, and they're not getting any help. They're right here in Canada, right here in good old Canada, people, okay? There's all sorts of really, really horrible, bad stuff, you know, rumors of troops, from the UN and other countries. There's all sorts of just crazy stuff. So please take your head out of the TV. Just spend more time. If you're going to be in front of a screen, spend more time researching the truth. Just pick any topic, bumblebees, just anything. Just research and find out for yourself what's happening in the world. Okay, it's very, very, very important. It's it's just as a time, everybody, that we need to really come together. We need to worry about everybody. You know, it's like I seen a big, you know, thing on the computer the other day. You know, we have millions and millions of people dying and nobody says anything. We have one, you know, person, we call them stars, you know, uh, TV personality dies or something and everybody's mourning and it's talks about it for weeks but yet you know children are being murdered in calgary uh, women are being murdered everywhere uh, people aren't getting their pensions people aren't able to collect on their automobile insurance on their life insurance on their health insurance people can't eat people can't sleep homeless people are taken away to prisons and not heard from ever again you know all sorts of camps and everything happening Check me out, everybody. Subscribe to my channel. Facebook, check out Art by CAC. Friend me, Christopher A. Chaplin. Still don't have a site up yet, but with your support, that's going to happen. I got a lot of shows and events coming out. Seriously, everybody. Create some synergy between you and yourself, your energy body. Get these ornaments and uh, do yourself a big favor. Synchronize yourself. Create the synergy that you need. Protect yourself from EMF radiation. Do what you need to do. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, gather around this butcher's block. Look at this beauty, the excellent as seen and used in the video. Stop. Pluck and take home. Now check this out. It comes equipped with a plastic handle. Look everybody. If it falls in the lake, the river, the stream, even your kitchen sink. This handle will make sure that this knife will float. Chances of it getting away won't be there. Now look at everybody. This is an original everyday essentials. Look at it folks. The stainless steel blade comes equipped with a two years worth of chopping and notching. It comes equipped small notch, medium notch, large notch. That's right, everybody. Your quails and your grouse get copped here, your chickens and hens here, and your turkeys and goose here, everybody. Splintering doesn't happen. Limbs don't have a chance. Now, everybody, this can be bought. Just look for it on eBay. It could be on Etsy. Maybe Kijiji. Hey, check out my Facebook. Whatever you do, have an opportunity to make it yours. This Everyday Essentials knife, perfect for you. <laughs> Everybody. Isn't it a beauty?